Cutting rabbit joints in your front and back. First, let's review. Rabbits and dados in our class are always cut half the thickness of the material using deep. Also remember, rabbit joints are always cut on the ends of the material. For our project, you're going to need to cut them on both ends of your front and back. The tool that we're going to use to do this is the dado saw. In a lot of ways, the dado saw looks much like our other table saws, but there are some differences. First, there will be a sacrificial fence or a piece of plywood that will be clamped onto the fence. The plywood is clamped to the fence so that what is called the cutter head is not fully exposed. This gives us options on how wide we wish to cut rabbit joints, but more on that later. For now, let's introduce to you the basic setup to complete this step. Begin by getting a ruler and setting the fence about a half inch away from the edge of the cutter head. Next, let's set the height of the cutter head about the height of the dado joint that you just cut on the table saw in the last step. Remember, anytime that you would like to raise or lower the blades on our table saws, the front wheel is the wheel that you will turn. To complete this step, you're going to need a scrap strip of plywood, your scrap piece from your box project, and the miter gauge. In this case, your right hand is going to be holding the miter gauge knob. Your left hand is going to be holding the plywood strip and your scrap piece back against the miter gauge fence, putting pressure down on the metal tabletop and holding it all against the dado saw fence. Your ultimate goal is to cut your rabbit width and depth in the front and back so that your side piece has a perfect fit. Now go get the instructor and a couple of your classmates and we'll show you how to cut rabbit joints using the dado saw.